With Bethesda's Starfield around the corner, many are looking to fill that space-shaped hole inside their heart. And they're doing it with Star Citizen. This game was pitched on Kickstarter back in 2012, and due to adding every cool concept they promised, as well as everything that Chris Roberts can imagine, it's still only an early alpha. You can join in with a basic starter ship for you know, around 40 bucks, or you can pull out your black leathery wallet and buy whatever this shit is for more than a used Kia Sorento. You can do anything. Want to be a space trucker on some planet delivery type shit? Do it! How about a bounty hunter, like Boba Fett? Just do it! What about being whatever this fucking thing is? I'm sorry, you can't. They only have humans in the world. You actually can't do that. Still a pretty open game, though. That being said, I picked up the game with the goal of becoming their persistent world's most feared pirate. You know, light work. After 40 hours of playing this game, I am barely scratching the surface, let alone getting close to my goal. This game keeps my ADHD brain so distracted when I'm not fucking lost in a spaceport or something. For example, I thought, hey, you know, smuggling some drugs might be neat, uh, and I promptly landed myself in prison. Space jail was cool though. Less sodomy, more forced labor, and less you live in, you know, the United States or North Korea or something. Then there's just less sodomy. But, you know, I'm sure they're going to be patching that in shortly. There's loot to plunder and folks to shoot, so I needed not only a crew, but the coolest pirate ship that I could possibly get. And I thought I'd take you guys with me alongside my Twitch and my Kick Chat. If you really want to help, like and subscribe on this channel, and maybe go check out the streams. I would really appreciate it. But now, it's time for the video. This is my current ship, the SS Munch. Through trials and tribulations and an eight-minute jail sentence, I earned this. But notice something. It is plain Jane. I need to exhibit this bitch and throw some shag carpet in, or like an original Xbox. And with this goal, we set to the stars to pick up some parts. We started in the slums of Loreville. We've been living on this planet to take advantage of some easy scrap outside the planet's weapon testing facilities, but now with credits in hands, we set out for Orison. Crewmate Parker was racing us to the city, so we flew over as quick as we could possibly manage. Well, we got to the planet quickly. The layout was confusing, so we spent about a good 10 minutes trying to find the hangars before defaulting to a YouTube tutorial, which guided Parker and myself to the docks of the city. And this city was amazing. We stopped for some local cuisine before I fell in love with our newest crew member, Jeff, and brought him over to the Cutlass. Now enough distractions. Parker and I hit the tram and made our way in town. After some wandering around, we found the shop and got our first haul of parts for the ship. There was another notable pickup, as Parker ended up getting a bit too excited with the plushies for sale, resulting in us adding another crew member. Given the pink, I named it Jeffiner. You know, like a female Jeff. Now he has a mate. You know what they say, if the space bunk bed's rockin', don't come a-knockin', baby. Parker had to log, though, at this point, so now it was just me, Jeff, and Jeffiner. With parts installed, we made our way halfway across the galaxy to Area 18. This place has the last few pieces we needed to upgrade the SS Munch, and with our two new crewmates, we had a new vigor for the project. Now, I've spent a lot of time in Area 18, so finding the stores didn't take us too long. We did purchase a few expensive goodies and then celebrated with a space glizzy. Mmm, perfect. One more stop was made to upgrade the ship's weaponry, and now we're ready to take to the stars. Now, the loneliness of space has driven many to madness. Hell. I spent the ride over speaking to plush animals on my bed, but I met this upstanding gentleman on the train. It's good to see it hasn't gotten to everyone. Just you and me in here, big boy. Uh, uh, who's blowing who? Shit, I didn't, I didn't think I'd even get this far, brother. I'm just happy to be a part of it. That's a, a lot more respectful, and I think I can get down with that. All right. See, I, I don't know how to do it now. Now we're right. I mean, I'm in prime regular 69 position, but I can't get on my side. All right, we're here. We're here in front of family. 
Oh shit, yeah, we can't get that public indecency charge. I can't handle another one. After getting back to the hangar, I realized something. Since I'm a silly little guy who has no idea what's going on, I, uh, well, I forgot a few things. I rushed back, got parts, and then spent way too long trying to figure out what I bought that was useful and what was errors on my part. To the hangars we go. It's time to finally fly this thing. Regardless, now we're ready, so we looked for a contract. A space yacht was being boarded by pirates. Now, as a pirate myself, I briefly struggled with the thought of killing my own, but then I remembered the crew's probably all dead, leaving behind enough booty to make me a happy and much richer man. I took the contract and made my way over. As I pulled up to the location of the distress beacon, I noticed two signatures. Now, normally, I run from dogfights, but I decided this was the perfect test of the new ship. A 2v1, my large vessel versus two sleek fighters flown by bloodthirsty pirates. This time, I wasn't backing down. I must have been doing so well that I made the space pirates realize there was no hope of taking me out in a fair fight or escaping with their lives. Because of this, one of the fighters flew directly into us, blowing our ship into a million pieces. Well, he crashed into me. I guess he decided that uh, we both had to go. Was I upset that I was bested in such a silly method? Oh, absolutely. Was I sad that I lost the loot I was wearing? Slightly, but all pales in comparison to the real loss. Jeff and Jeffiner had died. My ship's bunk bed was now eerily empty, and I knew I had to get revenge. In desperation, I decided that I needed allies. I took a chance and decided to ask two geared players if they could assist. Hey, are you two good at dogfighting by chance? Probably one of the best. Dude, I'm trying to go uh, board an 890 that's uh, been boarded by pirates, but I just got absolutely slapped out by two of their dogfighters. I did some damage, but they blew up my ship. You guys want to uh, crew up and maybe take care of them? You guys can get all their loot. I'll just go get my body back. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, hell yeah. Now with my ragtag crew jetting over to the location, a new feeling of confidence emerged. We would not only take back the ship, but we would avenge our fallen comrades and our lost loot. Since my ship's larger, it took me a little while to make it back, and our new friends were already at work taking care of the scum who killed our friends. Realizing I wouldn't be much help in a dogfight, I made my way to the ship to board with nothing but a basic spacesuit and the first gun I'd seen at a store. It seemed as if the two I recruited had a much larger crew than I was led on to, though. With some assistance, we made quick work of the invading forces. The ship quickly went quiet as it was just me and my new allies standing amongst the corpses of pirates and the original crew alike. I thanked them and left them most of the loot. I had gotten all I'd came for. Revenge. And that's my adventure for today. If you liked it, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel to help me grow as I make more Star Citizen content. I'll see you next time, Space Cowboys.